Whitey team, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Squad 51 versus the Flying Saucers. It's just cold started like this. Um, this looks like it's full of FMV, pulp, black and white sort of theme. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a, like a, a side on bullet hell, sh you know, shoot em up, which honestly isn't really my genre usually, but just the theme around this game is right up my alley so I, I have to look at it at least so let's let's do exactly that anyway let's jump in i think the settings we already set up some stuff when we came in that's fine let's just let's just start normal mode start from any unlock level okay sure that's fine the discovery of a new world okay oh two player local multiplayer that's cool Okay, what's... Oh my god, look at this! Look at this UI! Let's go! Duration of invincibility while respawning. Select a swap to equip an enhancement. Wow, it's giving us quite a bit of stuff. A bomb? Yeah, give me a fucking bomb! Let's go, baby! What's this? Machine gun speed. Increased firing speed? Sounds great. Sounds perfect. And what are these? Score and miscellaneous. Increased score achievement level. Doesn't affect ranking or leaderboards. However, it can help improve total high score. Do I care? I do not. Uh, I don't think I do. The player starts with an additional life. Resistance to collision. Resistance to, to enemy fire. Uh, I don't know. Give me an extra life. That sounds good. Oh, what's auto do? Oh, look. At, it pretty much gave me exactly what I picked anyway. Alright, what do we got here? Special weapons. Oh, special weapon 2. Bomb. Fire. Yeah. Move? It's pretty complicated stuff. Let's go. Alright game, blow my socks off. Wow me. I expect great things. Part 1, the discovery of a new world. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Yeah. Our society has undergone countless changes for the better. Thanks to them, we have reached new heights of progress and modernization. And from this point on, their involvement with us is guaranteed to shape our lives for generations to come. Oh man, this is great. Let's go. Unpaid work in Alien Factory. <laughs> oh no, workers' rights? Oh, don't do this to me, game. Uh, I get it. You might be overdoing the eye shots. We get it? You, you've seen a few pulp movies in the day. Lieutenant? Marshal, recon just reported in. What they say? They're heading this way. Looks like they might be after more resources and personnel. Good work, Lieutenant. Connect me with the Major. The dub. <laughs> major, this is the Camellia. Intel confirms that alien ships are in the vicinity. They should be in your zone now. Stay sharp out there. This could be a lot more trouble than we bargained for. Roger that, Marshal. We have a visual on the enemy now. <laughs> Keep the Camellia on course and leave the fighting to us. 
We'll see you in a bit, Marshal. There's so many. What are they doing here? Is this an ambush? Cut the chit-chat. We're going to charge right at them and shoot them up. Yeah, good. Bravo. Foxtrot. Get in attack positions on the double. Copy that. Foxtrot, you and me are on flank. We're going to try and draw out the ones in the middle. Let me know when you're good to go. Fox 3, getting in position now. All right, let's go. Show me. Wow me. What happens if I let some through? Do I care? You said don't let them through. Oh, whatever. I don't think it matters. Oh shit. They're behind us. All right, so kind of standard fear for your shoot 'em ups. Has me bomb work. Fuck yeah, get bombed. Oh. oh shit, I just get one tapped? Oh my god. Oh, I guess that's because of the collision. Yeah, there you go, I got clipped a little bit there. <laughs> Evasive. Oh shit, hang on. Hang on, I don't like that at all. I'm gonna slip in between the sources. Really? That's... Oh my god, that's hard. Hard. Auto? Oh, I've got another slot unlocked. Uh, okay, cool. Sure. No, can I, can I skip this please? Oh, loading. Okay. Uh, skip cutscene. We've already seen that. No, I know the controls game. Thank you. I just got hit twice and died. Might hold on to my bomb for like the big bosses. Since the cooldown on it takes a while. Boots! <laughs> yeah, evasives. Can I blow up a saucer, I wonder? Yep. Though I don't know if that's really what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, did I get that airdrop just in? The music's great. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah, you can pick up the airdrops. That's cool. Oops. Jeez, my, you can really throw that bomb <laughs> when you need to. Cool. Uh oh. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, I like the foreground and the background planes, like flying back and forth and that. <laughs> I like the canned waves at the bottom, that's cool. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> oh, the banter as well. We're almost there. Let's go. Oh, so your uh, your spare life recharges. So I don't actually have an extra life, even though it looks like I do. If I get hit one more time, I'm fucking cooked. out. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it's clever. That's like, if you think about it, memes and all that aside, it's very clever design with the sources flipping on the two planes and causing trouble for trying to avoid them. I like these. Are, I like how these are coming out of the background into the foreground. Like, it's hard to see while you're trying to dodge bullets, but... Oh, yeah, classic UFO music. <laughs> oh, fuck me. What's going on there? I can't tell if that's in the foreground or the background. Oh! That's, <laughs> that's cool. It's like a periscope, right? Oh, tell me that hit. There you go, get out of here, you grub. <laughs> this is quite fun. You know, it's not complex. It's tricky as well, like... Two hits and you're dead, pretty much. Oh my god. Just got clipped there. <laughs> the splash. <laughs> nice. Uh. Fuck. Oh, it's right. I've got another life. Okay. I think my bomb didn't pop for whatever reason just then. I threw it. I'm on the cooldown. <gasps> Do not make me... I was, okay, fuck me. Thank God we've got a... Thank God we've got a checkpoint. Okay, so it just keeps adding... Enhancement things, which is sick. Bomb. Flamethrower. Fucking let's go. I kind of rate that. Every time we retry it, it just gives me another slot. I like that transition. Oh, there's a lot going on here. Part of me does want to see where the story's going to go. Because they were pretty fucking ham-fisted with the workers' rights bullshit. That, that really is a turn-off. I don't really want to get browbeat about those sort of issues. But, um, everything else about this is a scream. Oh, the flamethrower comes out my bum. I wish I'd known that. <laughs> Can I go too far and go into the ocean? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, fuck. Oh, wow. Yeah, get rid of him quick. Good. Yeah, but uh, the, the whole package is just polished as. Like I said, you have to 
In, uh, the the one thing I will say actually is um, I don't know if people who like this sort of genre shoot 'em ups would actually like this. Like maybe they'll find it too easy, or or not complex enough because it's it is quite casual. Well, actually, it's very hard, but we've, I've literally got, like, two buttons. Well, three now that I've got a flamethrower. But I'm sure you take my meaning. I feel like uh, you got to wonder, who is the audience? Who is this aimed at? And I think it's people like me that don't really play these games that much, but are really interested in the theme. Fuck's sake. Really? Uh, let's go. Oh, you're not going to give me any more bonuses? Okay. I wonder if the auto button's just a shuffle. Who knows? Anyway. I'm, I'm personally enjoying the challenge. <laughs> I judged that poorly. Come on. So it's going to stop giving me uh, bonus slots. Because it expects me to be not this shit and hurry up and beat it. Eh, whatever. It's a bit rude that one bullet kills you. Like, okay. Like, I'm not even necessarily trying to make excuses for my lack of skill, but it's more, if one of these things hits me, then I will have to go through 30 seconds to 60 seconds of sort of load screen skip bullshit, right? I pressed the wrong button then. Oh, it's because it switched my buttons when I pressed auto. You know what I mean? Like, it's a bit of a fuck around. Really? Oh. Don't get me wrong, I'm, you know, I'm all for gameplay penalty. Uh, you know, consequences, dying, difficulty, all that. But if you have to go through the whole load screen after getting hit once, it, it is, it's a bit much. Especially when it's not like, uh, it's not like I'm trying to stealth through a level or make any decisions or even my build decisions are incredibly limited. It's just get good, I suppose. gone this far before? I can't remember now. Oh, we're getting a transition. Let's go. Fall in. Destroyed. Parachutes collected. One star. That's all right. As expected. Auto. Oh, what's this one here? Resistance enemy collision. Yeah. Yeah. Rebellion in the Zeta Gamma Factory. Right. Defense is there. 
Just coming into my full ground. Oh shit, hang on. There you go. Just stand perfectly still and you'll be alright. Oh fuck you game. Alright, no, it's alright, I've got a life. What? That, mm, okay, cool, great. That was a rude telegraph. <laughs> oh. Alright, I guess now I know. I don't love, like, Outlast I use as an example. These ga these games, they call themselves horror. Um, I mean, I love survival horror, but I don't really like things like Outlast. It's just a walking sim with jump scares. Um, but the real problem with that game was, like, I still remember, but it happens in a lot of games. But you'll be getting chased by a, a bad guy in a canned... Uh, cinematic moment, let's say, right? So, you have to run, and if you stop, the dude will kill you, but it's almost like a quick time. You gotta go left or you gotta go right. There's no two ways about it. Right, do they cut in on me or they cut in at predetermined? Um, and you get a corridor in front of you. Now, you've never played this section before, you have no indication of whether left or right matters. One of them is the correct answer, and the other one is a canned instant death, right? And I think that is garbage. That's not gameplay. So if you're expected to to react to an impulse from the game, however, there is no real reliable telegraph, and the only real way to know how to navigate that part of the game is to just eat shit and die. What happened there? I think I hit the environment. Oh, okay. Well, that's new. Okay. Then, um, I think that's just absolute garbage. So, having a, a thing like that where it doesn't really telegraph, it just takes a sharp turn and... And honestly, it's, it's not necessarily that you didn't read the telegraph right. It's just, it has an unreasonable telegraph that to learn it, you have to die to it. I find that sort of shit gross. Because the, the answer is, how do you beat anything that behaves that way? And it's just brute force. You just play like a lobotomy fucking patient until you die. And then you go, oh, what killed me? I'll avoid that next time. As opposed to interacting like actively with the game. And less of a uh, reload try again now that I've learnt the party trick kind of approach. Anyway, it's not super egregious here, but it does make me think of, like I said, I use Outlast as that example. Getting forced down a corridor, one, one way is correct, one way is not correct, like one way you die, one way you continue through the cutscene. How do you know the difference? You don't. It's a 50-50 flip of a coin. That's not gameplay. That's filler. Anyway, just sort of get my little rant going. And this isn't as extreme an example, but I it still holds up, I think, in that it was an unreasonable uh, telegraph. Fuck! Oh, really? Really? Really?! Uh, well, now we're starting to get to the core of why I don't really like shoot 'em ups. <laughs> what am I going to do about this fucking prick behind me? I can't shoot him. The shield will come down too. Very nice. Good. Oh, okay, right. That'll be enough before I throw me fucking controller. Again, I'm nothing if not a good sport, right? I don't particularly care for shoot 'em ups. This is this is one of those games. So, like, either you're gonna love them or you're gonna hate them, much like I do. 
Uh, however, I'm still happy to put it out there, right? There's nothing nothing wrong with acknowledging a cool game, even if you're not necessarily the target audience, right? So I try my best to to be objective about this sort of thing. So is there anything wrong with the gameplay loop? I, I wouldn't strictly say so, no, because it's more that it's just something that I don't play that often and that I don't particularly love. Um, the theme and all that is just fantastic. It's wonderful. I worry that it might be an ideological browbeat of a game, but who can say, you know, and I'm probably not going to play any more of this just just because the gameplay is actually what carries it. Funnily enough, I'm a gaming channel. I'm a gamer. I like playing games, right? And if the gameplay can carry me through, then I'll play it, right? Um, so yeah, look, gameplay is not for me, but might be for you. Uh, I have concerns about the, the storytelling, but uh, as far as like the sort of thematic well every aspect there's not even a single point you know visual audio sound um just just all the cutscene direction as well even all this like grain in the pause menu the, the fonts everything is just really fucking cool um so yeah it was at least worth checking it out for that if nothing else anyway team there you go squad 51 versus the flying saucers check it out yourself if this is the sort of thing that's up your alley um, team, I might just leave it there for the time being and I'll catch you guys on the next one.